This is a success story, that of a tool that has been designed and constructed to provide a permanent solution to a problem that has accompanied the water well industry since the beginning. The need for a liner hanger packer that could combine efficiency with simplicity of installation was the driving force that produced the stop sand. This short presentation will guide you through the main technical features and installation procedure of the stop sand. One of the main causes of well failure is sand pumping, a phenomenon that in a short period may result in pump failure and well plug. The economic impact of sand pumping must not be underestimated when designing a water well in sandy formations. Neglecting this phenomenon may be very expensive and lead to the total loss of the well. The usual causes of sand being drawn in by the pump are a the failure of the liner hanger packer to completely seal the well annulus, b the size of screen opening that is often much larger than the finer sand of the formation aquifer and c the lack of an adequate gravel pack. The stop sand is specially designed to solve these problems by providing secure closure of the annulus and easy installation of the gravel pack. To operate the annular sealing mechanism of the stop sand requires three supports that are installed inside a casing pop joint. These supports lie at 120 degrees to each other in a plane perpendicular to the casing wall. The size and form of the supports is designed to allow a rock bit to pass through easily simply by turning slowly to the right. The pop joint with stop sand supports is made up with the casing assembly as any other casing joint. The pop joint is set just over the first casing joint above the float collar or float shoe if the float collar is not used. The casing assembly is then installed in the well and cemented with the stinger. This cementing procedure is essential in order to prevent any cement setting below the supports that may hinder the free run of a rock bit. The stop sand is made up with a screen liner column and lowered into the well. Once the stop sand approaches its setting position, the lowering speed is decreased until the hanger touches the supports. The string weight is then fully released. The rubber elements of the packer are compressed by the shifting of the lower mobile rings against the upper ring which is fixed to the stop sand body. Under compression, the rubber elements expand against the casing wall thus providing perfect sealing of the annulus between the stop sand and the casing. The setting tool, which is basically a short square kelly with a left hand square thread, is then disengaged from the stop sand by turning seven times to the right and pulled out of the well. Unlike other liner hanger packers in the market, the stop sand is easy to install. It does not require any particular drilling string movement other than a rotation to disengage the setting tool. Also, it does not need additional weight to set the hanger in the desired position. Once the stop sand and the screens are in place, the gravel setting tool is lowered into the well. As the tool conic head enters the stop sand and the port's piston, the three wings fixed to the tool body act as guides by moving down along the grooves between the three plates that are welded inside the upper part of the stop sand. In this way, the gravel ports in the tool head are automatically oriented to match the ports on the piston. By releasing about 1.5 tons of weight on the string, the ports piston and the gravel setting tool move firmly downwards, thus compressing the underlying spring. 
until a stop position is reached where the ports of the tool head, the piston and the ones on the stop sand body are perfectly aligned with each other. In this position, gravel can be pumped into the annulus between the open hole and the screen liner column through the drilling string and the gravel setting tool. While pumping gravel, a lower pump pressure in the gravel machine indicates that the annulus is filling up. The installation of the gravel pack may last a few days depending on the amount of gravel to be injected. A steady increase of the pressure indicates the annulus is almost full. The pressure reaches the maximum allowed value when the annulus is full of gravel and pumping is then stopped. The gravel setting tool is then removed and the spring released from its compressed position. The piston is shifted upwards and the ports on the stop sand body are sealed off. In this way, no gravel or sand can enter the hanger from the annulus. The well is then developed to ascertain that the gravel pack is properly set, homogeneous and without voids. The gravel setting tool is again installed inside the stop sand for the refilling of the annulus. Should any drop occur in the level of gravel in the annulus during the development, the easy reinstallation of the gravel setting tool allows the injection of additional gravel to refill the annulus. The operations of development and refilling can be repeated several times until the annulus is effectively full of gravel. This is the best way to prevent the sand from being in direct contact with the screens. Before the well can produce, it needs to be cleaned and developed. Once the well has been developed, a pump is installed and the well is tested. This is the moment in which the efficiency of well construction is proved. If the well is producing water and sand, then something down in the hole has gone wrong. Conversely, if the water is clean and free of sand, then the well design and construction have matched the aquifer characteristics. By providing a reliable tool to seal the annulus and easy installation of the gravel pack, we believe we have made an important contribution towards the construction of a perfect sand filtering system. The stop sand is covered by the Saudi Arabian patent number 2106, which is registered under the name of Mr. Mario Resha and distributed by the company Bravo Consultants of Dubai.